All right, everybody. Well, hold, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Todd Cahill here. I can't see any of you. I'm just looking at my picture, but hopefully you can see me and you can hear me effectively. Um, if you can't, just uh, go ahead and let me know in the chat section. Um, hopefully you have good Wi-Fi so that you don't get kicked off. But if you do, just hop right back on. So excited to be on this training tonight. We are officially in 2024. So first of all, Happy New Year. Hopefully your holidays was awesome. And I don't know about you, but holiday is like days. And I know sometimes we take weeks off and it can be kind of hard to get back into the grind, get back into the workouts, get back into the reading your 10 pages of a good book every day. But I know that each and every one of you are going to do that and excited about 2024. Um, and without any fluff, I mean, we, are, we literally have, I think in my opinion, after 20 years of being an entrepreneur, I'm 43 years old, just turned 43. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur since 19 years old. I've never seen anything like this. But instead of just telling you that and throwing you hype and all that stuff, we're going to go through the details tonight the best that I can. Um, but a couple of disclaimers and a couple of things I want you guys to just know. This is only my fifth week. So would I be the master Jedi of knowing everything about FICA? The answer is no. Um, I'm just like you. I had to study all of the videos. I had to study all of the, the program, but obviously I have a lot of trust in the people that have introduced this to me. I've done business with a lot of them. And we'll get to that in a second, but I want you guys to really relax, have fun tonight. We're going to go over just a ton of great information. We're, we're going to get right to the point of things and just make sure that you guys are just going to um, go out after tonight and be able to book appointments effectively create great affiliates, great partners that are going to go out there and run with you so that you're making a great residual income for yourself, which I think all of us can agree that is exactly what we're looking for here. I think a lot of you also, because your past is entrepreneurship and a lot of you have been successful in a lot of things that you've done, tonight I also want to build belief in you that what you're building and how you're growing this particular business model is a long-term home for you. This is not, um, I, I did the ERC program and continue to do so, but that does have an expiration date. So fortunately with this, there is no actual expiration date here. You could do this for the next three years, four years, five years. I don't think you need to financially, but I think at that point you just really, um, uh, something's wrong with the microphone. So you guys, uh, let me know if you can hear me okay. I don't know if so, someone keeps saying something's wrong with the microphone. So, yep. Okay. We can hear you. All right. So, guys, we, you can hear me. So, thank you. It's it's actually probably your issue, not my issue. So, um, just just uh, you know, good. Thanks, guys. Okay. So let's get to the let's get to the uh, the first slide here. So I'm going to kind of go back and forth because we're going to look at slides, but I also have some particular points I want to make in the notes. Um. So the first slide is we're going to talk about the origins of innovative health and encompassing health. Now, right there. Innovative Health is like Apple. So Innovative Health is the company. And if you look at Apple, obviously Apple's a company and it has many products like the iPhone and the iPad, which this is brought to you by an iPhone and an iPad right here. So that's the company Apple. So Innovative Health is the company that's been around for 12 plus years and Encompassing Health is the actual product. So I just wanna definitely clear the air on that. There's no confusion Go moving forward. Encompassing Health is the benefit and the FICA program that we are instilling in the business owner. That's the actual product that we're marketing as a company with Innovative Health. So I put here why we are here. We're going to talk about why we are here and why that is the great, why it's the greatest move in your professional life. You know, I've heard it said so many times, first mover's advantage, getting in something early before the masses know about it. Now, with that said, though, I've been in part of a couple of startups in my day. And it went really, really well for me. I was at the right place at the right time. There's always going to be um, issues, right? So we might have issues in the technology. We might have issues as far as the affiliate program is concerned. I just want you guys to build some resilience around that. But here's what's interesting. Innovative Health is 12 years old. So Innovative Health is not a startup company. Innovative Health uh, partnered many, many years ago with a great insurance company that's been around since 1823, I think. So this company does $7 billion a year in claims. They've already investigated Innovative Health. They know exactly what we do. We're not a wellness insurance product at all. We're going to get into more details here in a second. So we got this thing incredibly seasoned, 12 years old. But 
literally literally the origins of so the the, the thing that i've learned um in business is like getting in front of an opportunity is huge but i've never been a part of an opportunity where we just added the affiliate marketing side to it and that came many months ago through talks with a guy named logan shippy so logan shippy you probably obviously know the name you've seen his face he's got he's done a lot of the videos that i learned from that you learned from so he had his own erc company so he was building the ERC business the past couple of years. He's made a ton of money doing that, which is awesome. I know many of you with myself and Alex Meller and Chris Casey, we've also been doing the ERC program. I've been doing it since April of 2022. Um, we crushed that. I did over $100 million in that. I know Logan also did over $100 million. A lot of you gotten some checks on that um, and continue to do that. So I just want to make sure if you're doing that program, with a different company that we've been doing since 2022, we're still doing that. But what we've talked about in 2023, before we announced it to a lot of you, was the opportunity to actually partner with someone that was a long-term play for us, that didn't have a kind of a hard stop in April of 2025, like the ERC program does. So many, many months, we we're looking at what we should do as an affiliate. And the cool thing about myself and, and what we've done with Alex Meller and Chris Frederick and Chris Casey and a lot of you and a lot of incredible affiliates. We brought 65,000 affiliates to this company in Miami and we did a billion dollars, just our group uh, for business owners across America. Now I got to say something about that because a lot of you come to this Zoom tonight and you might be like me, April and May of 2022. And again, this has nothing to do with ERC but it's a very similar kind of story that I think we all can agree. Um, I didn't have a lot of business contact. So when I got the call that, hey, we're gonna be doing this program ERC, um, I was kind of frustrated at first because I'm like, man, I'm, I'm doing e-commerce, I'm having a blast. Like, what the heck? I don't know business owners. How, how do I approach business owners? Do I like gotta cold call people? Do I, cause, cause I, I didn't really like to do that. Um, I, I, I've been a salesperson for 20 years. I'm not saying don't do that here, um, but I'm just saying, like, for me, I feel like, okay, I've kind of paid my dues. I don't want to just be cold calling all day for my income. So I actually went to Miami and met with the company, and it was actually a lot easier than I thought. And that was the first time in 2022 that I've heard the concept of actually just booking appointments. And we're going to talk a lot about that today is how to book appointments with um, business owners. Because in this business, just like that business, all I had to do and all you have to do is connect, get them curious, and make the connection and book the appointment. And we're going to go in great detail about that here in a little while on the training on how to position yourself in front of a business owner. So I just wanted to share that part of my story because sometimes people look at myself or other leadership and they might just say, of course, they're successful just because they've been successful in other ventures. But just like you, um, any other new venture for me, I'm just like you. I'm brand new. I don't know much, so I have to watch all the videos myself like we're asking you to do. I'm looking at the templates. But this particular business is interesting to me where I don't have to do something and get paid once, okay? I get to do something once and get paid over and over again every single month. Unlike the ERC program where me and Logan, you know, we got big commissions. A lot, a lot of you got those big commissions and we'll continue to do that because I know we have a lot of commissions coming to us in 2024 for the work that we did in 2023. Um, this is a lot different because we're getting paid one, we're getting paid for the um, uh, every single month for doing something once. And we're going to dive into the compensation plan. We're going to talk about how you get paid, who pays you, all of the details that I'm sure every single one of you are trying to figure out. And that's why we have this live call every single Monday so that we can do a Q&A after this call tonight. We can answer your questions. I can help position you to be the most successful that you are. Um, I will say on another note that we have, I think, over 100 people on the Zoom tonight, but there's only about 600 Americans or even 600 people worldwide, 600 people that know about this opportunity as an affiliate. So again, you're positioning yourself in a 12-year-old company, very successful, and you are one out of 600 people that even know that the affiliate opportunity exists. So again, 12 years old, we actually built the affiliate program five and a half weeks weeks ago. I think it was the first week of December. We greenlit the project and now we are full on board, bo uh, onboarding people, onboarding clients and onboarding affiliates to do this opportunity. So I don't know if that gets you some goosebumps, if you understand what I just said, 
Um, I've never been a part of this perfect storm where this is new, this is so good, um, uh, full compliance with the IRS, what they do, they've already been massively successful before 2020, and the Affordable Cares Act um, after COVID has allowed this product, not just Section 125, but bo both Section 125 and the benefits that um, all the employees across America are getting all in this one product that's a win for the business owner, it's a win for you, it's a win for me, and it's a win for um, everyone involved. And it's a win for really the employees too, because they're getting all of these different benefits, as you guys know. And then of course, the employers are saving $800 per employee per year. So if a company has 100 employees, they're going to be saving 800 times 100, um, $800 times 100. So that's $80,000 a year. Now, um, I will say, the biggest thing, and as we go to the next slide, I need for you to understand, we're going to talk about the mindset first, okay? And this, and this is very important. The reason I have this slide first, and yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to give kind of a, a promotion to my book, but it's, 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 I'm not trying to make this about me at all. I just know the reason I wrote the book five years ago, and I'm actually relaunching it, it's totally remastered um, here next month uh, to the world, is because it's always a you versus you battle. Would you guys agree? And I wrote this in my notes because a lot of the, if you're obviously an affiliate, you're going to go through a lot of different things. And I wrote this in my notes, you know, there's 12 battles in this book, but I would say the most important ones when it's dealing with affiliate marketing and what you deal with on a daily basis to be successful is going to be your routine. So you're looking at you versus your routine every day. Like, are you giving this an hour a day? Are you giving it 30 minutes a day? Are you giving it more? What does that look like? Uh, I know a lot of you have children. I have three children, two teenagers, one 10 year old a dog, a wife, I have an ex-wife that I have to pay, obviously for child. So so a lot of you might not know, like um, I'm a dad too, I have children. Um, I have to be able to provide for not only my first family, but my second family. Now, of course, if you're part of a divorced family and remarried, you kind of have two families, especially if you're someone like myself who provides for both. So um, I have a lot of excuses. I know a lot of you guys can as well, but I try to obviously win the battle of you versus you. And that's where I wrote the book. And uh, another big battle is like you versus your dreams. Um, and I put a link there. It's actually brand new. Uh, you can get the revised version right on Amazon today. That's the link. But um, I want to talk about the spirit of entrepreneurship. And I got to just tell you, like three people signed up today and um, on my Facebook. And I've been asking them all day. Okay. Hey, are you on WhatsApp? I left them voice messages and they still haven't got back to me. They've seen the message, but they just haven't got back to me. And I'm just thinking to myself, do I really want to work with them? I mean, all they have to do is say, yes, I'm on WhatsApp or no, should I get on WhatsApp? And it's just like, that's like the start of it, right? Is being responsive, being accessible. Me as a leader, I have to be accessible as well. I want to be fully accessible to you guys. I want to be fully accessible to what you need. Um, just like my leadership, like Logan and Chris and Alex and uh, Tanner Gardner are accessible to me. I appreciate leaders that are accessible. Would you guys agree in the chat section? What do you think the most attractive per, uh, part of a leader is? I, would you say that, yes, being accessible is like one of the most attractive things about a leader? Um, I would say like if you have a husband or a wife, Imagine if your wife is not very accessible or your husband is not very accessible. There's no relationship. And I've been in businesses and MLMs before, and this, of course, is not that. But I've been in businesses where there's an ego with a leader. And the ego is, I'm too busy for a small peon guy or a small peon lady, and I'm so successful. And that's just not who I am. Um, and, a, and a couple of people today, God bless you, you said, hey, Todd, I don't want to bother you because I know the pay structure. And I know you don't make any money off me. And that is true. If you're th three levels deep for me or four levels deep for me, I don't make any money. In fact, probably half of you, I don't make any money on because it's not an MLM. But my philosophy and my personality is I want to help all of you, whether it's on a live Zoom or whether I do a Zoom with your team, like I am accessible and I build that into my routine. Now I'm not accessible on Saturdays and Sundays because I take weekends off and I do have boundaries just like you should. But again, it's that you versus your routine and, and also the dreams, you versus your dreams and you versus your success. Because I believe that every single one of you should reframe your dreams. Some of you are thinking small and that's okay. There's no beat down here on these trainings. We're gonna be always professional on these trainings. I want you to leave these trainings feeling so like, wow, like my heart is full. I feel so excited. We're not going to beat you down. We're not going to make you feel bad. 
But I do want you to know that there's a mindset here. And the reason that I bring up the spirits of an entrepreneur is because if you look at you versus your finances, there's three particular mindsets that people have. And you might want to write this down because if you don't get this part, we can have the greatest product. We can have the greatest opportunity. We could be working with, I mean, Michael Jordan himself, right? Or whoever you, you admire, but you still won't be successful if you don't possess what's called the spirit of entrepreneurship. Now, there's two other spirits uh, in money, in money-making opportunities, and that's the spirit of poverty, and that's the spirit of um, entitlement. And you might not know you have this. So, for instance, let's kind of address this. Again, no beat down. This is just self-awareness. So if you find yourself maybe texting me or maybe your leadership saying, I'm a single mom, okay? Just as an example, and shout out to the single moms. You guys, you gals are amazing. You guys are the hardest working people out there. There's nothing we have against you. It's actually the hardest job. And I really mean that because when I have my kids and I'm by myself, it's super hard to get anything done. Uh, and not that I'm always trying to get things done when I have my kids, but I know how hard it is because I'm, I'm a father. But if you constantly, as a single mom or even a single dad, if you're constantly texting your leadership, I'm a single mom, like leave me alone. I can't get on the training or I, I can't, I don't have time to watch your videos. I'm a single mom. Well, Again, I want to catch you in that because that's kind of the spirit of entitlement or because you're entitled because you think you have a title and everyone should just understand that you're a single mom or you're a single dad. Or let's say you're, you're, you're broke. You know, I don't have any money, so I can't give this much time because I got to work my job and I hate my job, but I have to pour into my job because it's the most important thing. But you just told me five minutes ago, you hate your job and you can't stand your life but you use that as a crutch. So again, I'm not assuming any of you are doing this, but I know you're going to come in contact with affiliates that do this. And again, it's just, again, pick up my book. I think it's just going to help your mindset. It's the only thing I'm ever going to ask of you is buy my book. Okay. That's it. I'm only going to ask that. I'm not going to ever ask you for money. I'm never going to ask you to invest anything. Just buy my book, 15 bucks. It's the best thing that you could do for yourself. Um, and, and just really learn as you go, because we want you to grow. Uh, this is not just black and white AI robotic, work, work, work. We, we understand we're human beings. There's human behaviors involved and you're going to go through some rejection. You're going to go through some ups and downs and it is the you versus you battle. So winning the battle of your finances, you can't have a spirit of poverty. And if you have, you got to get rid of it. <laughs> you know, whether your parents are broke or you grew up in a poor environment, we're offering you something that will change your life. We're offering you something that will make you successful. But I, that brings me to one of the battles is your success. It's a lot easier for people to um, kind of get good at failure, but it's rare that I've met a person that actually can handle success. So just for instance, if your goal is to make a million dollars this year with FICA Save, are you really ready for that? So I want you to visualize that right now. I want you to write on a piece of paper, I am earning a million dollars a year. Okay, because I think that's where you can really start. If you're just if your goal is a hundred thousand a year, I think you need to think bigger. I think you really need to think at least 100,000 a month here. So a million a year is about 83,000 a year. Um, just, just think of yourself. Now, what, what goes through your brain when you're writing down, I am earning a million dollars a year with FICA save in 2024 by, let's say, December 31st, 2024. Do you feel weird about that? Is there anything about that that you're like, yeah, that's bull crap. You know, I don't believe Todd. I don't believe that. I, I just don't. I've only made 80,000 my whole life a year. I've only made 50,000. Uh, and again, that's why you need to buy the book. So if that makes you feel, of course, I could do that. No problem. Then you're on the right track. But if you write that down and say, yeah, you know, I'll tell the world, you know, that's my goal. But inside, I really don't feel I deserve that. I, and that's, again, that's that comes from the spirit of poverty. So we have a lot to work on. We're going to continue to work on that. But I want you to make big time money. And then Scooterberry, thanks so much. Yeah, a million dollars a month. Now, is that really possible? Now, I, I want you to think about a million dollars a month that Scooterberry, who professional athlete, father is Rick Berry, the great uh, Rick Berry, a uh, legend. His whole family is legend. Just think about that. A million dollars a month. Can you make a million dollars a month in network marketing? No, you cannot. No way. Can you make a million dollars a month in politics, you know, as a salary? No way. The president makes 400 grand a year. Now, of course, we're not going to talk about anything else outside of what they do, but that's their salary. If you're the president of the United States of America, it's 400,000. I think that's what it is a year. Okay. Um, there's hardly anywhere in America, hardly anywhere in the world that you can make a million dollars a month 
in not only one-time earnings, but in residual income. In residual income. Now, I, I, I get another disclaimer. I've been a business for 20 years. I've heard a lot of false prophets, a lot of fake leaders out there, a lot of you know scam artists out there. I mean, you can see them all over Instagram. I mean, every time I open my Instagram, it's like that guy's fake, that guy's fake. I would say only 10% of Instagram influencers are the real deal. And I've, I've witnessed this in the personal development field. That's why I love John C. Maxwell. That's why I work for him. He's the real deal. I would never tell a group of people that it's realistic to make a million dollars a month or a million dollars a year if it's not readily available and possible for you. I, I just want you to know that. So and you might get intimidated by someone that wants to make a million dollars a month. That's okay. But again, that's where you need to work on your mindset. That's where you need to read the books, um, listen to the podcast. And, and honestly, the most important thing is just plug into this. Watch all the videos, get fired up, take that action. And I'm telling you, you can close one deal of 10,000 employees, and that's 50,000 a month for the rest of your life on that one deal. So everyone can get at least one great deal. All right. So again, hopefully that helps because it is a spirit of entrepreneurship. All right. So as we go through the slides, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get into some of the how to's here, how to get plugged in and learn. Okay. So this is very important. So everything that I send on the WhatsApp chat, I want you to make a commitment. But again, I don't want to overwhelm anybody. I want you to watch everything that I've ever given you. Now, it's not easy. It's not hard to do. It's easy to do. But again, it's easy not to do. So the biggest thing for me is I want to take full responsibility on what I just told you myself. So every time I get a video, I'm watching the video. Every time that I see something new uh, that Logan gives me or someone else gives me, I'm watching the video and then I'm giving it to you. That's just, it's like being a point guard. It's like being a quarterback. Why are quarterbacks so paid high? Why are they so praised? Why are they so uh, edified in society and in the media? You know, why do quarterbacks get all that? It's because of the hardest, it's the hardest position in football. Why is being a quarterback or a point guard, the hardest position in sports? It's because you got to be the leader. You have to lead first. You got to show up early. You got to stay late. You got to watch all the tapes, like the Peyton Mannings of the world that just study tapes for hours and hours and hours. It's the Bill Belichick's. It's the the preparation, right? So we we have. There's a a part of this whole program that you have to prepare. You got to have a plan. You have to really look at yourself as a leader. You can't look at yourself as I'm just following. I'm just following. You have to look at yourself. Look, I'm going to lead this national market. I'm going to absolutely, I love business owners, whether they're blue collar or they're white collar. I'm going to get as much business as I possibly can, but I'm going to treat everyone incredible. Whether they're affiliates, whether they're business owners, I'm going to plug into the information. Now, let's talk about going back to the you versus you thing, you versus your routine. We all are busy people. So not all of you are going to be like me full time, eight hours a day. And that's totally understandable. Now, if you can go full time quick, Highly recommend it because you're just going to get more bang for your buck a lot quicker. But those that have a full-time job that obviously have a salary, that have benefits, have a family, let's just commit to an hour a day, you know, hour a day of, of knowledge. So what does that look like? When you walk your dog, I have a pet. How many of you guys have dogs? Any dog lover? I know you can't really walk your cat, but if you have a dog, I have a golden retriever. I walk them four times a day, gladly, especially in Florida weather now. So I walk my dog. So every time I walk my dog, it takes about 20 minutes. I listen to one or two videos of FICA Save. Okay, that's what that's the time I do it. When I'm at the gym, I, li I like to listen to some podcasts and stuff like that. But when I walk my dog, that's my FICA Save time. Now I know if you have a dog, you're going to have to walk it. Let, put get get something like this. Press play. That's where you need to learn. Okay, during those quick times throughout the day to make yourself more believe. You know, get that belief down. You're excited and you're just fired up to do this. Okay. Um, Everything in the WhatsApp. So number two, WhatsApp group. And let me go to, um, let's see here, slide three. Yeah, training. Okay. So the importance of the WhatsApp group, you know, a couple of people have said, man, there's just so many things. Okay. Well, listen, turn all your notifications off except for your WhatsApp group. If, if you are getting so bogged down with notifications all day, obviously, I totally understand. I'm on sleep mode every day myself. But the WhatsApp group, even if you got to go in two, three times and you schedule it in that your routine, look at, especially when I'm posting, because everything I post, I'm not saying I'm more important, but I run the app, or I run the, the, pro, uh, the group. So I'm giving you guys like the newest, here's what's going on. Here's this video, watch this. 
And then, yeah, so, and then you guys can welcome your affiliates when you uh, sign affiliates up. You can do all that. And we want you to do that. So you can invite into that group. Um, nobody, and, and just understand, like, no one's soliciting that group. No one is keeping anyone's information. That's just a way for us to communicate effectively where I can send a voice message to you. Uh, maybe I have something on my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm coaching. I'm saying a couple of uh, quick tips of the day. We want to build that so that you get the information real time and you're not lost in the sauce. So that WhatsApp group is just another way of, of communicating. And of course, it's, I think it's good to see the group kind of growing and growing and growing and growing because you see the momentum. I mean, we're just getting started. Um, when you do sign up an affiliate, you're more than uh, able to grab their picture, just uh, write up a nice note. Hey, I would like everyone to congratulate John, you know, John Smith. He just got started with me. He's excited. He's from Denver, Colorado. Just want to, you know, give him a warm welcome. We're human beings. We love recognition. I, whether you played sports in the past or not, um, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're in the arts, the creatives. I mean, last night was the Golden Globes. I have to admit, of course, I watched it. I'm an actor. I'm in the movie business myself. I thought it was horrible, uh, the host, but um, it was a lot of fun. I think Will Ferrell could host the next uh, uh, Golden Globes. He's one of my favorites. But anyway, um, people, even at that level, it's all about awards, you know, recognition, best actor, best actress, you know, best screenplay, best director. And, you know, millions of people plug in and watch because it's not even about them, but they like to see people, other people getting recognized, you know, for movies or shows that they really like. I'm glad The Bear got best show because, I, again, if you haven't seen The Bear, what an amazing personal development show The Bear is on, on Hulu unbelievable me and my wife finished that last week and they won all the awards so incredible show um two seasons you got to watch it um and that's kind of cool watch that night right after all the hard work all right so the number three your personalized business and affiliate links guys this is the most important thing i can tell you if you haven't figured this out this is super simple you're going to go to ficasave.com you know the link that i've sent in the whatsapp group multiple times and you're going to um you know log in okay now if you have an affiliate that is like, oh, I forgot, I forgot. What, what's my password? Send them the FICA save link, ficasave.com. They're gonna click on it. It's gonna say username and password like you're logging in. But if they forget, they can click on forget password. And then they can create a new password. They're gonna get an email right away. And now they're in, I call it the back office. So this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you're gonna make money. This is where you're gonna see all your business deals. This is where you're gonna see all of your affiliates that signed up. This is truly incredible. And what's interesting is a lot of people still kind of scratching their head, like, how do I get my links? Okay, so when you when you log in, you're going to see your name and right under your name on the right. So it's on the top left and uh, right here, like if this is your name, there's going to be two blue links. One is going to say business application. One's going to say affiliate application. You're going to touch it. Now, you can't open the link by your finger. So what you do is you touch it, which is copied. Then you go to your notes section on your iPhone or text it to yourself if you have an Android or WhatsApp it, whatever you want. And then I would just, you know, I have an iPhone. So I, in my notes, I put my FICA save links. Uh, number one, four business owners and then my link. And then number two, four potential affiliates. Then my link, my affiliate link. Those two links is how I bring on all the affiliates and the business link is how I book appointments. Same with you. Now, some of you say, well, how come mine doesn't have my name on it? Well, they're updating the whole system. So as long as you have your password, you're already financially tied to that those two links. Now, when you click on your affiliate link and there's a seven and a half minute video, guys, this is genius because it's so duplicatable easy to bring on a lot of great affiliates by simply sharing that link, building curiosity, they watch the seven and a half minute video and then they sign up and boom, they're in your system. Um, they, they don't have a, uh, you, they, I'm sure this, they're gonna change that, but right now you can't know their phone number. So if someone does sign up, make sure if, if it's on Facebook or social media that you can obviously DM them if they're on Facebook or Instagram, if you don't know their phone number. That's happened to me a lot where I'll post something on Facebook and random people just sign up. And then right now I, I can't see their, that'll change though. They're changing that right now, but I can't see their number. So I'll go to my Facebook um, and I'll say, oh, there they are. And then I'll just DM them in case that has happened to you. Okay, now on your affiliate link, when you log in, oh, not your affiliate link, but when you log into your back office, you're gonna see dashboard, you're gonna see home, and then you're gonna see on the very top, and you're gonna see training. So now, right now they're implementing a bunch of training links 
already in your back office. So when you sign up an affiliate, eventually, let's say in a week from now or whenever it is, they're going to have all those training links readily available to them right away. So that's going to duplicate faster. You don't have to like, you know, text people a bunch of links. You just got to promote them to go through it on their back office. And then also the home is going to, you're going to see all of your affiliates and then dashboard. That's the key because you're going to see how many employees have signed up, how many business owners have signed up, and then also how many affiliates total that you have. And then to the left of that is like your tree. It's like your branch, which is really cool about that is you can go down all your frontline affiliates and actually see, oh, they brought on three affiliates with zero business. Oh, this person actually booked a business call with 17 employees. Oh, this person actually did another business with 25 employees. So you could actually take inventory. You could do recognition. You can just reach out to them. You can congratulate them. I mean, the data is right there in front of you. And I'm a big fan of data. I'm a big fan of recognition. We can use our WhatsApp group as well as recognizing the right activity. So what do we recognize? Well, we recognize people for, of course, showing up, being on the trainings and all that good stuff. But the biggest thing is when somebody books an appointment that has 10 or more W2 employees attached to it. That's huge. Like, just so you guys know, like when, when you do it, that's huge, right? Cause you're building that confidence. And then what's even better is when someone you're doing it, but also someone that you bring on front line to you that's doing it. It's like, Oh my gosh, you know, congratulations. So do not go, let a day go by. If someone's doing that, that you're not saying great job, you're recognizing them. Obviously you're making $2 per employee and you're making five on whatever you do. But for me, it's not just about the money. It's about seeing who actually is serious. People that book appointments are my, my favorite people. They're people that get on these trainings. They take massive action. I just pray, pray to God that you're one of them. I know we already have a lot of producers on here. I also have a lot of people on that, that haven't done that yet. Okay. And again, I, I really want to make sure that you, you know, everything, you know exactly what to do so that a week from now or less, you have your first appointment booked and you have your first affiliate and you're going to be able to see them in your back office. So again, if you have any questions, hold your questions towards the end. We're going to go ahead and answer your questions, but hopefully you guys are following me so far. So get plugged in. Okay. And again, we have this training every Monday night, 8 PM to 9 PM Eastern time um, every single Monday night. Okay. And we'll, we'll plug into that, put it on your schedule. And then of course, WhatsApp group and all of the links and all of the trainings 24 seven. All right. Next slide here. So this is actually a really good slide. So how to book appointments with business owners. So as you know, guys, there's, there's blue collar and there's white collar in America. So the blue collar is going to be, and I wrote it down. I wrote some things down, nursing homes, hospitality, um, restaurants, um, just a bunch of construction. That's blue collar, right? So whether it's 10 or more, these are incredible as well. So you might be like, oh, I just want Amazon or I just want, you know, <laughs> Um, all of these top companies, I want Pepsi, I want Coke. Great. Those are white collar and they're thousands of employees and we absolutely can go after them. But I want you to just have that heart for business owners where you want to make a list of every single business owner that you know and just reach out to them as long as they have 10 or more. Don't worry about your commission. The more the merrier. We're building compound residual income, but it just gets you that excitement right away. So for instance, I talked to a lady today, uh, Delois. And she's in Vegas. Uh, she's retired. She's affiliate. She's on this call today. And uh, she reached out to me on Facebook last week, uh, got started um, this past weekend. She watched all the links. This is exactly my dream affiliate. Watched every single link. She reported back to me. She booked a call with me. So I really recommend, especially if I personally brought you on board as a frontline, you got to have a getting started right call with me for about 30 minutes. I need to get to know you. Um, half of you still haven't done that yet. How can we do business if we've never met? You know, it's kind of weird, right? So I want to know your story. I want to know about you. I want to see what your motivation is, what your why is, about your family. And then I want to get into some details. So she did that today, uh, this afternoon, and she already booked a, an appointment with 68 employees. Now, for me, this is like an incredible thing for her because I'm like, wow. And it's also great awareness for me. It's like, okay, she did exactly what she said she was going to do. She shows up. She signed up. She, she went through it. She's coachable. She's willing. And she took our call. She got all of her questions answered and she reached out to her easiest person. Now that's the key in all of this. So you want to reach out to your easiest person that has 10 or more employees and just book the call. That's it. Don't worry about the big, big companies yet. Now, if you have, if that's great, if you have a relationship with the CFO or any of the C-suites, 
great. I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm just saying the best thing that you can do and the best thing that you can teach another affiliate to do is book their first call within their first week. That's it. Even if it doesn't go through, let's say they say no, great. Because that gives you confidence that you know exactly what to do. Number two is going to be um, bringing on an affiliate. I have my dog here, so he's probably just seeing what's up. Bringing on an affiliate, okay? So let's just say all of you, if you don't have any goals right now, I'm gonna help you set a quick goal. In the next, let's say, let's say between now and the 15th, I wanna challenge you to book one business, a legit business, and also bring on one affiliate. Can we all do that? Because here's how we're gonna do that. I have a video I want to queue up. Myra, if you're ready, we want to play a quick video that I gave to all of you, but I would say maybe half ha haven't seen it, or maybe you've kind of fast forward this, or maybe you saw it once. This is an incredible three minute video that teaches you exactly what to do. And then I want to talk about it. So Myra, can we queue that up if you have it? I think I texted to you an hour ago. Yeah, give me one second and I will get it right up in just a second. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. So watch this video, take notes, and then I'm going to talk about it. Bear with me. I'll just talk while you're there. So it's not weird. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no problem. So this is going to be, this is Logan Sh Shippy's video. And he talks about how to approach business owners using your affiliate link. Okay, so this is it. This is the rubber meets the road. This is the most important kind of thing uh, to watch. Um, so again, it's like three minutes. And, and again, I want to I want to talk about it because I have my own notes about it. Um, but I thought it'd be great just to show it to. I don't know, Myra, Myra figured out. Yeah, keep keep talking. I'm waiting for it to pull up. I apologize. All right, so I'll just I'll just keep uh, I'll keep talking here. Hold on one second. Let me just fix my. All right, cool. Well, we'll do some Q and A here in a little while. So um, I, I'll just say here. So talk about the. So the first. Let's talk about first impressions. So in this video, he talks about first impressions. So he's really right. So we have only one opportunity to make the best first impressions with business owners. So we want to be sure that we're prepared when we're actually approaching business owners. That we're not half-assing this. We're not just trying before we get trained. And uh, this will probably play here in just a second. So watch what he says here. I appreciate you guys' patience, but it's definitely worth it. And again, I've given out this link to everybody um, that joined me personally. So again, if you're, this is a link that you definitely want to give out to your affiliates. So you have a business owner on your list and you want to reach out to them. And today I'm going to show you how to do that properly. But before. Can you see that? Uh, no, Before I show I just, you how to yeah, do it. No, I, I want to put, we're good. Okay. Let me just start it over. Yep. No so, problem. Yeah. Take just some notes. Cause we're going to talk about it after guys. You have a business owner on your list and you want to reach out to them. And today I'm going to show you how to do that properly. But before I show you how to do it, I want to put emphasis on something you could have the All right, it's a running circle, Myra. I let me re try to restart it again. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I mean, I can just give it. Playing. I'll, I'll I'll put the link in the WhatsApp chat for everyone. Okay, perfect. If it plays yeah, here, we can yeah. play it at the end. All right. Sounds good. But yeah, we're, we'll give it to everyone. You can watch it on your own time. But let me talk about what he says here. Amira, if you go back to the slideshow. So he talks about first impressions. Okay. And, and, and it's very important because one of the challenges that I can see is when somebody gets so excited, let's say we sign them up as an affiliate and they're just like kind of a know-it-all. They know all these people. They kind the of right opportunity. Brag, right? Like, oh, you present it to the I right person, so but you talk about way and you get the wrong result or you could have the right opportunity yeah yeah all right thanks Meyer. so um we could go back yeah so anyway so he talks about first impressions and he talks about really the way to connect with business owners so there's really kind of four things here so he talks about connecting 
He talks about asking the question, um, for instance, hey, how are you? Connecting means, hey, how's it going? Um, asking a question is, I know it's a bit random, but how many W-2 employees do you have? Okay, so that's that's the question. And then number uh, number three is teasing the program. If I can show you a way to save, you know, so you would just say like, if someone says, I mean, I did this with the ERC program very effectively. If someone says I have a hundred employees, okay, great. So you're kind of taking notes there and you're doing the math. So 800 times a hundred is 80,000. So you would say, well, hey, if I can show you a way to save, $80,000 a year on your FICA taxes and add benefits for your employees with no out-of-pocket costs, then would you be interested in that? And they're like, of course. Well, here's a quick video to see how that's possible. So this is actually approaching business owners using your uh, business link. So this has nothing to do with affiliates. You're speaking to business owners on LinkedIn, whether it's a Facebook or Instagram or, or text message or email. You're preferably, obviously, email is probably the last resort because you're probably having a, a back and forth conversation. Um, but it, the call to action is then checking out your link, watching the five minute video, and then booking a time that works best for them with Innovative Health. So, again, this is it. So, I mean, if you guys forget about everything else, if you can do good at this, this is where you can make a million dollars a month. This is when you can make a million dollars a year in residual income. This is where you can make 10 grand a month in residual income. I, you know, this is it. So if someone says, man, Todd, it's been five weeks and I don't have anything. Well, how many business owners have you connected with? So again, first impressions are important. Connecting with the business owner. Okay, how are you? Hey, I know this is random, but how many employees uh, does your business have? And obviously if they say nine, it's a no-go. Okay, if they say 10 or more, W-2s, we can proceed to the next thing. So again, whatever number they give you, do the math in your head, have a calculator out if you need to, and you're always going to take the number of employees and times it by 800, and that's the number that you're going to say, hey, you know, tease the program. If I can show you a way to save 80000 a year, a million a year, 500000 whatever it adds up to, uh, and on your FICA taxes and add benefits with no out-of-pocket costs, would you be interested then? Absolutely, Todd. Well, how can you do that? I mean, aren't you just an entrepreneur or aren't you just an author or speaker? How do you know about FICA taxes? Well, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I recently partnered with a company called Innovative Health. They're 12 years old, fully licensed uh, by the United States government or fully insured by the United States government, all 50 states. They, they do a phenomenal job for you. Let's book a call together. I'm going to send you my link. You can watch the video at your earliest convenience. And then I can actually apply you to book a call with them. And they're going to do the whole presentation um, for you. Uh, I'm just here to introduce you. That's really all my job is. And I just have a heart for small business owners like yourself. And I know times are tough. And I know the economy we, is very shaky, shaky on shaky ground right now. And I want to help. So again, I'm trying to take note on this. I'm trying to say the least amount of things. I'm not trying to answer any questions. And I think a lot of you are kind of overcoming too many objections. Just remember, even if you're a monkey, you can do this business because monkeys can simply press a button and, and book appointments. Now, you don't have to be robotic. If someone says certain things, you, you, know, I, you know, if you know it, just answer the question. But see what I do and what I did with the ERC program and how I did $100 million myself is I, I don't even know what the ERC, I, I know what it stands for, but I could not tell you what a 941C is or a 941X is, even today, after doing $100 million myself in that program in a year and a half. So again, you don't want to know everything about everything about everything. I mean, sure, if you want to, great, but you're not going to make any money knowing everything. The only way you're going to make money is by these four bullet points. I'll go over it one more time. So again, first impressions are massively important. You want to you want to know enough, okay? And that's the key. You want to know enough to look good, okay? Whether it's your tonality, whether it's what you're saying to the business owner, whether it's face to face or over the phone or a voice message or a text message, um, tr try to avoid writing as much as possible. I mean, try to make a voice a vocal connection if possible or a phone call. Um, so again, uh, first impression and then connecting with them. How's it going? Uh, Happy New Year! I'm so glad to be connected with you. Uh, and then the next thing is ask the question. I know this is a bit random, but how many W-2 employees do you currently have? And just pause. Whatever that number they say, add 800. And again, I'm talking to you guys like you're kindergarten, so I, I don't mean to. But again, this is kindergarten stuff. If I can show you a way to save X amount of dollars a year on your FICA tax, on your FICA taxes and have benefits with no out-of-pocket costs to you or your employees, 
That's important. So with this benefit, we're not just a wellness benefit, okay? Um, and by the way, this is not going anywhere anytime soon with the government. It's not, there's no expiration date on this. Um, this is a multi-billion dollar operation, what we're doing. So just know that whether they say no now, it's a yes later. So never take this personal. But the goal is to get them connected to someone in Innovative Health or Tanner Gardner if they're over 100 employees, and they're going to do the whole presentation for you. I know this is kind of a bad analogy, but let me give you this analogy. I used to sell timeshares way back in the day. I don't really believe in timeshares now. I think it's a kind of a waste of money. But my mom loves them. She still uses her timeshare. But anyway, I used to stand in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina in my 20s out in this park. And a lot of people would come to this park and it had an amusement park, whatever. And I would book appointments for this person to go to like the Hilton, you know, some resort in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But I never went to the timeshare presentation with them, obviously. So I got paid if they went. I didn't get paid if I didn't, but I got an you know hourly salary, whatever. So that's kind of like what we are. We're not obviously selling timeshares, but all we are is booking the appointment. So the business owner goes on this 45 minute presentation. They get all the facts. Their questions are all answered. They can invite their CFO. If they're not the CFO, they can invite their team on if they need to, the bigger the company. But if you're just dealing with like 40 employees or 50 employees or whatever, obviously they could just go on their own. Okay, does everyone understand that? So that's honestly all we do. And that's exactly what we're teaching our frontline affiliates to do. So that's why that video with, with Logan Chippy for three and a half minutes or whatever it is, you got to memorize it. I mean, it's just like you're an actor. You got to study that script. You got to be on point with that. And then you got to take that action. Uh, I will say I'm reaching out to a lot of top people on Instagram. I got my own pitch as well, uh, as far as ha having them become an affiliate, but it's the same thing I'm teaching them. And it's the same thing I'm teaching you is these four bullet points is super critical. So don't overcomplicate this. Don't think too much. If you're analytical like me, don't be too analytical. If you're an engineer minded person, stop being an engineer too much. You know, it's okay to do it, but not too much because the more that we think about things, the more that we study things, the more that we're trying to just get all the information, the less money you're going to make. So kind of be that gal or girl where you have ignorance a little bit on, on fire. You know, you're excited, you know, just enough to book the appointment. You'll continue to learn through the action. And I always say that an hour in the field is worth 20 hours in the classroom. Let me repeat that one more time. An hour doing the action, an hour booking appointments, reaching out to business owners, DM and phone calls, reaching out to your warm market, whoever's a business owner or whoever knows business owners, that's an, that's 20, it's worth 20 hours learning. But it's still important that you still learn too. You, you got to do both. So you don't want to be an idiot, just take a massive action, but you have no idea what you're talking about. And your first impression is going to suck because the owner can smell you a mile away because you have no idea what you're talking about. But you want to be both. Does that make sense to everybody? You want to be incredible at first impressions. You want to be a connector. You want to know just enough to be impressive. And that business owner trusts you to book the appointment. Now, when they book the appointment, super critical, you know this, um, they need to um, open up their email before their call. So let's say you did a call today that you book for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern. Well, when 10 a.m. Eastern comes, that business owner needs to initiate that call. So he needs to press the Google uh, video and be on live with Tanner, okay, or anyone that's qualified at Innovative Health. So Innovative Health is not going to call your business owner. The business owner has to call on time, and they cannot be more than 10 minutes late. All right, on to the next slide. And if you have any questions, hold them till the end. We're going to get there quick. Okay, we're almost done. All right, building your affiliate marketing team. All right, who to look for, sharing it on social media, and who not to sign up. All right, so let's deal with this. A lot of you have known me from my past. Many moons ago, I started my entrepreneur um, kind of well, it wasn't the very first thing I did, but in 2004 is when I started in network marketing. I did a company for nine years and then another one for six and another one for three. I hit the very top spot in all three companies, okay? And this was before really Amazon took over that marketplace. So I got no problem with MLM. Um, I would never do it again, but I, I got no problem with it. And I get it. Some of you know me from 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Okay, but I just want to I just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, this is not what this this is. I did that in my past, very successful, appreciate that, but we kind of moved on. We moved on to bigger, better things. So I don't want you to feel um, that this is that. This is a very professional business. And what we're looking for is only three things in an affiliate. Okay, and again, we're, we're, I love everybody, I get it. 
I'm a man of faith. I pray for you. I mean, but, but that doesn't mean I necessarily want you on my team. The only people I want on my affiliate team front line to me are going to be a ABC, a somebody that knows a lot of business owners. Perfect. You're in, let me help you. Let me guide you off to the races. Because if somebody knows business owners, I'm going to get them in for, um, you know, I get the $2, they get the five. Um, it's front line to me. And I can go as wide as I want, just like you can. Okay. Now, number two, I'm also looking for people if they don't know business owners. Well, sure. They might know other people that knows business owners. And in turn, they're going to also step up and put in deals themselves. Okay. That's kind of how I build this myself. The last thing is if they don't have those two uh, kind of qualities or whatever, um, they would have to possess a red hot burning desire to figure it out. So again, that's it. So we're not really looking for anyone outside that sphere of influence. Um, so if you're just kind of signing up your mom and your cousin and you know your auntie, and they're like, oh, that sounds good. I'll try it. I'll give it a whirl. Guys, that's not an affiliate. And it's okay to do some interview process. It's okay to, hey, let's just hop on a call, see if you're a good fit. Um, you know, for the program, you know, our company is not looking for everybody. We're only looking for um, some different criteria. Let's I call it a skeleton call. Just hop on a five minute call with me. Maybe you've piqued their interest on social media. Maybe you posted something, you piqued their interest enough, but don't just sign up anybody because you're want everyone on, you know, because you're so desperate just because this is going to help you not have to babysit people and all that crap. Now, some of you might not even be interested in signing up an affiliate and that's totally fine. You don't have to sign up affiliates. You can just run with this. You can you can plug business owners in and make a ton of money. And that's totally fine. And we're going to cheer you on. You're the man. You're the, you're the woman. Okay. Totally fine. But I like the affiliate because, um, you know, it's also while I'm not working, you know, people are putting in deals and I'm seeing that and it's great. So I like to do both. I want to be the master at both. So, what, um, so who did not sign up? Obviously, is someone that's going to drag you down. You know, maybe it's a high school friend that sees a post, but they're not going to do anything. So just ask them, hey, if, if I sign you up, are you going to do anything? Are you going to plug in? Are you going to watch the videos? Because if not, no big deal. We're only looking for people that really want to make this happen. Does that make sense, everybody? I just don't want you to feel ever, ever kind of like depressed because like I sign up 15 people and nobody does anything. I don't know if this works. Well, you, the 15 people are not the right people. It's like me being an employer and I'm doing interviews. What did Steve, uh, Jeff Basil say? He, he said, I'd rather do 50 interviews and nobody actually is a good fit than actually, you know, sign up one person or hire one person and they're not a right fit. So it's okay to do 50 interviews and no one signs up. So I'm not saying this is a W2 and you got to interview people, but it's okay to have that posture. It's okay to come to the table with seeing if they're of value and they have a network to actually build into. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I want you guys to really be, have that posture and know that this is a very professional business. Okay. And definitely you can use social media and stuff like that. Um, I'm working on something that is going to help you guys with social media that you can log into, that you can definitely learn how to brand yourself, how to post, all that stuff. We don't have time for it tonight, but definitely social media on all platforms is super, super awesome for me. It could be very awesome for you. I definitely leverage it. All right, next slide. And I think we're almost done here. All right. Um, Cool. So what type of objections will you get and what to do with them? So I actually have, we wrote all that down for you. So uh, in the WhatsApp group, I just want to make that a reference because again, any objection, you can easily just be like, Hey, perfect. I'm so glad you said that. That's a great question. Let me do this. Let me just introduce you to encompassing health. They're going to walk you through everything and they're going to answer all your questions. But if you are via email or via text, we have a bunch of stuff. Like if someone says we already use section 125 tax code, we have, it's just a copy paste this message. I put that in the WhatsApp chat. Uh, if you guys need that, just text me. I could definitely give that to you. If you signed up like yesterday, because you're not going to see a couple days ago, but these are all, we already wrote them out for you. It's a copy and paste. When somebody asks you technical questions, you could just say, these are great questions and I want to ensure you to get, and I want to ensure that you're going to get the proper answers. This is why I want to introduce you to the team at Innovative Health. They will visually show you everything you need to see in order to be confident in the program. So again, you can just text us out. You can just email people. What about um, if someone says we already use, all right, I already did that one. <laughs> what about um, what is encompassing health? So we got a copy and paste for that. We got a copy and paste um, for technical questions. I want to talk to my CPA about this. We got that. 
Um, does this affect my current medical insurance? We got that. If someone says we use a PEO, we got that. So again, uh, all you got to do is control C and control V. And we'll continue to bring that uh, to you in the WhatsApp group uh, daily and weekly so that you have proper ammunition. I would suggest you have files that you save and kind of compile all the links and everything on your own in your notes or in your phone or Dropbox or Google Drive that you can go to any given time with all of this documentation, okay? So the next slide I believe, and lastly, is long-term residual income. Okay, so how we get paid? We get paid from Innovative Health. So Todd Cahill, thank God. Logan Shippey, thank God. Um, anyone outside of Innovative Health is not paying you, okay? I wanna make that clear. This is not referral marketing kind of at a low level where I get paid all the money and then I'm supposed to pay out all of you. I've done that before. It's a nightmare, accounting nightmare. I hate it. Um, I just like having a system where I'll help you do the work. I do my work and a major company pays you. Okay. I think we all can agree, right? That's much better. They're going to pay you on the 12th. Uh, I'm sorry, on the 15th. Um, but you're going to know like once deals go through in that 45 days or less in your back office, you're going to see your commissions. You're going to know, and that's huge. You're going to have an idea of what's coming to you. And then after 60 days from the time that they sign agreements, you're going to get paid on the 15th. Um, who pays you? Innovative Health. How do they pay you? Okay. So once you actually have one or more deals closed, they're going to reach out to you during that paid month. So if you don't do something in January, and let's say by March or April, that's going to be your first commission ever. Somebody's going to reach out to you, the, um, you know, the accounting part, department of Innovative Health they're going to collect your information. They're going to collect, obviously, your bank account. Um, they're going to do all that. Now, if someone says, well, I don't want anyone to know my bank account, I'm sure that they can write you a check. Um, but I'm sure most of us, 95, 100% of us are going to want an ACH. So the ACH comes on the 15th of each month. Now, let's say the 15th is on a Sunday. They're probably going to pay you on either before that or the day after on a Monday uh, because banks are closed on Sunday. So it's an ACH right to your bank account, whether it's an LLC or a personal bank account. I would suggest you have an LLC minimum. I got a trust for my family. That's a whole different talk too. But make sure that you don't just have a personal account um, because you're going to be taxed very badly on a personal account. But again, that's a whole different talk. How long does it take? It takes 60 days or less. If you're working with a lot of employees, it actually could be a lot quicker. So if you sign up a company with 2,000 employees, it'll take about two to three weeks for Innovative Health to actually implement that whole plan. And then you get paid a lot quicker than 60 days. But I would just say to be safe, you know, once uh, an employer signs the deal, 60 days from that date, that's basically, or whatever that month is, that's when you're going to get paid. Okay. Um uh, uh, okay, and this is huge. Innovate. Oh, hold on, go back. Go back, Myra. This is actually the one of the biggest, biggest bullet points. Innovative health. If you can go back, Myra, does your follow-ups? Does everyone get that? So I know uh, one of our competitors. I heard kind of a, uh, some things about it today. They only follow up with with your with your lead. Let's say once, and if they don't answer, they're out. They stop following up. To me, that's devastating because if if, if fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. So Innovative Health as a company does the follow-up. Now, that's not to say if these are your friends, these are your boys, these are your contacts, it's okay for you to follow up too in, in a very professional way. But remember, you don't have your license. You're not supposed to answer a lot of questions because you're not licensed. So Innovative Health does all the follow-up to ensure that we're closing the deal. I also would you know, frame this as if you're talking to someone very sharp, whether the CFO or C-suite people, Make sure, you know, obviously, if you can assess the situation, make sure all of their top leaders are on the, uh, not the Zoom, but the Google video together. So that way, all they need is that one exposure, that first presentation. It's just going to run along. So that way, they're like, hey, this sounds great. Let me talk to my accountant. And then they book another call with their accountant. Oh, you know, we got to talk to HR. Now you're talking three different calls. If, if it's a big company and, and, and going in, you know that, have them just send the Google video to all of their C-suite staff or their HR department in, in top on top of that and have them just talk to Tanner themselves all at once. So that's a, a pro tip, hopefully you understand. All right, so just to give you a couple of residual income monthly uh, options here. So again, this is a long-term play, but you get $5 per employee, uh, 10 employees minimum, $5 times 100, let's say it's 500 bucks a month. Okay, so you sign up one company this month, 
uh, 60 days from now, you're making 500 bucks a month every single month for years and years to come. Not bad, right? Incredible. Um, that's a car payment. So how about if you do a total of a thousand? Now that doesn't have to happen in one company. It could add up to a thousand employees. Now you're making five grand, $5 times a thousand, five grand a month. Boom. That's most of everyone's bills in America, middle-class America. $5 times 2000. Obviously you guys can do the math after 2000 employees. That's 10 grand. 10 grand a month, only two to 5% of America makes over $10,000 a month, but they do not make residual income on that. You would have to be Jennifer Aniston or Steve Carell to make real residual income, having a hit TV show like The Office or The Friends or Friends or Michael Jordan, who makes hundreds of millions in residual income off his brand. Very few people in the world make residual income. I want you guys to know that, especially not having a license. Okay, now the two, the two, so just add that up. You can go to 3,000 employees, 10,000. You can think as big as you want. <laughs> $2 per employee, that's $2 times 100. That's $200. Um, and this is what I always tell people. Write down your monthly bills and set a goal on, on the number of employees that you need to have for the $5. And then whatever your goal is for affiliates frontline to you, boom. What is it going to take? to make more than your bills and residual income. That is literally the goal that I have. I already surpassed it already. And now I get to help everyone that wants to make that happen for years to come. And that's the second phase of my goal is to help all of you to do the same exact thing, to have more residual income than your monthly bills without changing your lifestyle. And then after that happens, you share the story, share the story, share the story. And everyone's going to be like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. And now that's millionaire status over the over a long period of time, let's say for like 12 months to the next 24 months. That's how you make a millionaire. That's how you become a millionaire or more is you hurry up and have to create that story and, and then now help a lot of people do the same thing. Okay. So it's all a numbers game here, kind of figuring all this out. So what I like to do, I know we're running, uh, we're out of time here, but it's a lot of information, guys, since we're all new. Obviously, every Monday is not going to be like this every single Monday because we're going to get more more and more information. I mean, a lot of the, the bones, the bare bones of it will be every Monday because we're always going to be adding new people and new people and new people. So you're really going to get it after a while, but we do have to make that duplicatable. But every training is going to be different. We're going to have guest speakers as much as possible. But I want to take just five minutes. I know we're a little bit over time, but anyone that wants to stay, give me some of your questions um, You know that you have. And Amira, if you could just read those out because um, I can't see all of them. Uh, let's just take another five minutes. So any important questions, I appreciate all of you guys for being on for the whole hour, being attentive. It really means a lot to me. Hopefully I did a good service and, and, and you guys got a lot out of it. So I really appreciate it. But I would like to answer some questions. You know, if you guys have any questions about tonight, anything about FICA save, let me know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, just uh, hit away. Thank you guys. I'm very appreciative. Here's one. How many people are doing presentations at uh, Innovative Health? Oh, we have 300 employees and there's multiple people that do presentations. But I will say that Tanner Gardner will do over 100 or more. So if you have like a bigger company, like 100 or more, Tanner will do that for you. Um, anything under 100, they have employees that are licensed that are salespeople that do that for us as well. So anyway, we're not going to run out of people anytime soon because if we overwhelm them with appointments, they can actually handle it. I have a company who said they scheduled a call, but it's not come up on my back office. How do I follow up with um, Innovative Health to confirm? Uh, who said that? Mary Beth. Mary Beth, which one? We have two. Uh, Kingsley, sorry. Kingsley. Uh, Mary Beth, just personally text me on that one. I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. I just need a little bit more detail. Um, just text me personally and we'll uh, we'll get that. We'll We'll figure that out. How young can an affiliate be? Is it just as long as they have an account to put in? I know someone. You know, I, 15 and I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would I would think 18 or higher because they have to pay taxes on their money. Um, I, I would just say 18 or 18 or higher. Is the opportunity and, open? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And you can't sign up your, your wife or spouse underneath you, by the way. Is the opportunity open to municipal and nonprofit companies and organizations? Yeah. Who asked that question? Brandon. Brandon. Great. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You know, I forgot to mention that. So that's a great question. So it's nonprofits and the religious organizations, government organizations, like unlike the ERC, you could actually do that with this program. It's for profits. 
um anyone that has a w-2 i mean we're talking native american like casino like not native american casinos but a lot of people ask me about native americans um yes as long as they have a w-2 um churches have it i mean casinos have it um i mean who's going to get hard rock you know that's what i want to know who's going to get hard rock go after it casinos any you know big big deals small deals but anyone that has w-2 well your son can build your okay so somebody asked me if they have a son um, I mean, I, I can ask for you. I mean, all I can do is ask Logan um, and I could definitely put it in the WhatsApp chat. Um, but if, if, if they say no, then your son can, you and your son can actually partner on an LLC and you can split the profits. So there, there's ways around that too. And that's a beautiful thing with your son. I have a 15 year old son too that I'm teaching business. Maybe you could have different last names too. Uh, Scooter Barry asked me a question. I, I couldn't read the whole thing. Has any company discontinued their program? What happens if they decide to drop their program after signing up? And is there a drawback on commissions paid or all from the scooter? I've already asked that question. And the history of Innovative Health is a no. So Tanner actually answered my question. He, there's not one company yet that has dropped out of this program since for 2020. For companies with 100 or more, should we use the link with Tanner to schedule with him directly? Or do we need to schedule twice? Once with our link and another for Tanner? Uh, you could you could do the Tanner ones because it is connected to you financially, but I would just do both. I would just do yours first and just in case, and then the other one. That's what I would do. That's what I that's what I do. I do I do both. I do one for me because I, I I just I like seeing it right away on my thing. That's that's why I do it. I like seeing it. I'm very competitive. I'm very athletic. So I'm like I'm just gonna get it first. Okay, and then boom, if I gotta switch the times, and then and then of course I email Tanner. Um, to, and that's exactly what I did with a couple of my deals so far. And I emailed Tanner. I let him know in advance who they are and that it's a big deal and that this person obviously has hundreds or thousands of employees. Absolutely. So we, and I can give you that same thing when you actually do it. I'm not going to give out Tanner's email to all of you until you actually have a deal on the table. Yeah, I can't give that out to everybody. There's just no way he could take all your questions, guys. I mean, just think of it as like, he's the boss. He's like corporate America, CEO. Uh, his dad runs the whole company after 40 years. It, only when we have deals, uh, I have no problem emailing Tanner with you CC'd on it. That's all I'm Next question. Next question. Anyone else have any other questions? These are really great questions. Um, and if you know me personally and you have my cell phone, um, definitely reach out to me about any questions um, before you put it in the WhatsApp chat. I just don't want that WhatsApp chat to be bombarded with questions because that's kind of annoying for people. But if you do have any questions, you know me personally, have my cell phone, happy to reach out to me. Oh. And just remember, I'll kind of close with this. Uh, you have another question before I yeah, make a closing one, statement? One more before you close. This is the last question. Who are the major competitors? Uh, there's only four, four or five. And um, we have a graphic that goes through everything that they offer compared to what we offer. And what we offer is interesting because we have a whole infrastructure digitally that is, as long as they get the email, we're getting paid the residuals. But other companies, they have to go through, they have to log in, they have to watch videos, they have to go through all this process. And it's hard enough to get the employees to, even if we're talking about full on healthcare, to do that, okay, amongst all the other benefits. So we have a total of six benefits. All of our competitors have one to two, and that's not me knocking them. I mean, I'm just like, let's say I'm the middleman. I'm just giving you guys exactly the facts. We actually have a graphic that's floating around WhatsApp. Uh, I can repost that again, but it actually shows what we do compared to everyone else. And it's it's really a no-brainer. I mean, we, we are the best. We're, we're the only company fully insured by the United States government to do this in all 50 states. We're fully compliant with the IRS. We are not a wellness product. A lot of people think we're just the wellness. You know, that's all we do. Um, it's actually not what we do. So uh, very important you guys know that. So my closing uh, statement, I totally forgot it. Um, I totally forgot it. it was really good. <laughs> so uh, as far as really good tip, but I totally forgot. Um, yeah. Any, any, no other questions? Nope. None yet. Okay. Oh, very good. Uh, what was my other question? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Um, yeah. So there's really no com competition um, and, and, and competition is really good. Remember that. So it's, you know, you, you want competition, um, but you're only comparing yourself to, to, to the information to make yourself look great with that first impression so that you can book your appointments effectively. With that said, guys, thanks so much for being on. Like I said, every call is not going to be an hour and 10 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes, but we're so new. We're only in our fifth week here. A lot of you are just so excited. I love the momentum. So 
thank you so much for staying on tonight and answering uh, or asking questions. So appreciate that, guys. We'll, we'll chat with you soon.